ask somebody next to you, are you born again? We are doing a lot of things in the church, but we're not born again. Are you born again? <laughs> somebody is looking at me as if <laughs> he's never had this word born again. I'm sorry to say this, but people come to church when they're Catholics, they remain Catholics in the church. They are Muslims and they remain Muslims in the church. I'm not talking about uh, the church in England, I'm talking about the church in Uganda. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So why should we agree with God? Because God's thoughts and ways are higher than our thoughts. When you read in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8 and 9. I think I didn't give you that scripture. You know, God looks at your enemy. I think this is very strong. Should I speak it out? Yes. Uh -huh. Somebody who killed your child. And you say, love him. That's how I can explain. His, 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 his thoughts are higher than ours. How can I love him? He killed my baby. Love your enemies. How many people here love their enemies? In Uganda, you hear churches, they have prayer, prayer meetings, they have uh, operations, spiritual operations, and they say, this week, we are going to cut off the necks of our enemies. Where is it written from? Our thoughts are different from the thoughts of God. Mm. He says, love your enemy. 